ภาอินโดนีเซียอินทูภาษาอังกฤษ It is very, very privileged to be here today. Uh, see, uh, my, you should be my friend because we are working in public health together. Uh, see a, a big group of uh, public health workers in the same room, which I understand that uh, every three years you will get together. So uh, that really encouraging that uh, public health in Indonesia is really strong. Uh, in my view, uh, today I was asked to uh, speak on the uh, topic that is quite uh, uh, hot, clearly, as I, I, I will uh, share with you. Uh, next slide. Uh, we will uh, touch on what is the global health policy in order to set the, the, the uh, tone. And we will touch on a little bit about uh, evolution and the policy instruments and uh, uh, about the change in the global health and uh, different infrastructure models for global health issues. Next slide. Next slide. Uh, Frank et al. Uh, recently defined global health as a system of uh, promoting health as a global, at a global scale. The system in which uh, strengthening one system will help strengthen uh, the other system. Uh, click. Click. Uh, our current understanding that global health includes uh, disease prevention, quality of care services, equitable access to care, and the provision of health security for all people. These are the issues. Next slide. Health diplomacy is another term which is defined as the action to protect and promote people's health, and it is also the process which shape the international environment for disease control. Click. Uh, by this virtue, global health system can be defined as the group of actors which include individuals, governments, and organizations whose primary purpose is to promote, restore, and maintain health. Another click. Uh, the more interdependence among countries means more diplomatic involvement, including health. Next slide. Uh, click. Okay, we will pass very quick. We will not talk, talk about the O. We will go to the post uh, Second World War. Uh, after the Second World War, uh, World Health Organization was locked, founded in uh, on 7 of April 1948. This is to direct and coordinate international health. World Health Assembly plays a very important role in international uh, health governance. Nowadays, with the extremely uh, rapid changes in how we travel, the spread of disease are more transboundary. Next slide. In order to implement the function of the WHO, the WHO used uh, UN-type international health governance based on the principle of UN system. 194 member countries are represented in the World Health Assembly, which functions as the uh, central governing body. World Health Assembly appoints Director General to oversee all major organizational decision making and approves the program, program budget. Next slide. Uh, this table, uh, in order to implement the functions of the WHO, the functions composed of advisory, normative, collaborative, and operative uh, roles. In the advisory role, uh, the instruments are through the technical advisory group as a soft instrument to the expert advisory group to commission 
as a harder instrument. In normative function, the BHA issue resolution. So resolution is a soft instrument, uh, as we uh, refer to, uh, to court regulations, to conventions and treaties. This is uh, uh, in, ho in 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 uh, order of uh, from soft to hard uh, measures, and this will the harder the the instrument, it will require more commitments from the member countries. In the collabor collaborative function, the BHO use the mechanism of network of un or alliance to independent governance to independent legal identity, and in operative function. The BHO use the strategy at the global or regional and may endorse by World Health Assembly to negotiation process. Among these instruments, regulations, conventions, or treaty or protocols are the only legally binding hard law instrument. Next slide. Uh, to further understand the term soft law and hard law, both we need the diplomatic uh, negotiation. Only hard law is legally binding. The examples of soft law are declaration, strategy, resolution, plan of action, charter, guidelines, and standard. While the hard law are conventions, treaty, protocol, in constitution, of the organization. However, the countries have the right to rectify the hard law depend on the political decision of the country. On a follow-up mechanism, soft law will be by inviting or urging country to follow up, while uh, in the hard law is often monitored by the conference of parties. On a compliance mechanism, usually there is no formal uh, mechanism in soft law, but on the hard law, it depends on the agreement. Next slide. Health for all policy. Uh, the example of the past and current the WHO consensus uh, building, let us uh, focus on the red one. Uh, uh, it, it was Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, uh, or FCTC, in 2003 as one example of the uh, convention. Uh, we also have the example of uh, international health regulation as a hard law uh, in 2005. Next slide. Next slide, please. Uh, I think it's not synchronized. Eh? <laughs> between this one and the other one. Uh, uh, we, okay, how to deal with this? Uh, we want the global health diplomacy. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, to summarize the hard law instrument that the WHO used to date are two important area. As for the disease control, uh, the first one is the uh, international uh, sanitary regulations in 1951, and it has evolved into the international health regulation in 1969. Uh, at, at that time, IHR 1969 uh, addressed only cholera, plague, yellow fever, and smallpox. And smallpox was eradicated in 1979. Uh, then IHR 2005, replaced the 1969 with a broader mandate. Uh, click. For the conventions, the Bechel Framework Conventions on Tobacco Control was uh, endorsed in the United Nations headquarters in New York. Uh, the Bechel FCTC has become the binding international instrument in 2005 as more and more of the uh, countries adopted the provision under the convention. And uh, another click, the WHA uh, uh, passed a number of resolution and recommendations on international public health issues of importance. Next slide. 
to name a few of important resolutions since its inception in 1948. Uh, during these 65 years of establishment, the Petro uh, has technical support to member states from Health for All concept in 1977, MDGs in 2000, IHR 2005, Primary Healthcare Revitalization 2009, followed by Food Security and Climate Change. And now uh, we have heard quite a lot on universal health coverage today and social determinant of health among uh, many others. Next slide. The landscape has changed. Global health system has evolved to the latter half of the 20th century with uh, success in controlling infectious disease and reducing child mortality. Click. The traditional actors of the uh, global health stage, National Health Ministry and the debate show are now joined uh, by uh, society, civil society, NGO, private firms, and private philanthropists. Uh, click. In addition, there is an ever-growing presence in the global health policy arena of low- and middle-income countries, uh, such as Kenya, Mexico, Brazil, China, India, Thailand, uh, South Africa, and also uh, more involvement by Indonesia. Next slide. This slide just want to show that uh, at the high level forum on health, MDG, there are 75 to 100 partnerships uh, for health at a global level. But most focus on the communicable disease and most target a single disease. Exception include uh, global fund uh, and fine. Click. Most 60% uh, related to HIV AIDS, malaria and TB. Most of them focus on Africa. This at least uh, will uh, help demonstrate that there might be an equal distribution of resources to deal with the public health problem. Next slide. Next slide. Uh, why the UN type uh, multilateral health governance still uh, play a role in uh, international health matters? And such arrangement is accountable to the member state. Accountability of non -act state actors on the other hand, it still varies and even uh, some questionable. Uh, the voice of uh, people, as they have the growing ability to uh, mobilize significant financial resource and media. Next slide. We have uh, observed that uh, Indonesia has been active in global health diplomacy as seen from uh, the presidency is its co-chair of the UN high-level panel of eminent person for formulating the post-2015 MDG. Click. Our health minister is appointed as the new chair of the Global Fund. Click. Asia Pacific uh, MOH and Minister of Finance meeting will be developed uh, to set the principle of uh, universal health coverage. And we'll, be, um, we'll have a meeting in Bali uh, this month. Next slide. Um, there is a, another, uh, maybe we can skip this to three slides. Skip three slides. Next, next, and next. Um, with the current change, the countries were categorized into three main groups. I would like to focus on the middle one, the red one. Uh, the group two is the middle-income countries. Uh, the issue are equity, that we have in the interest is equity, regional disparities with growing NCD. There are decreasing level of international financing in healthcare with the different level to health development and management. The opportunity that we saw is a country in this category increase their collaboration on health and trade with the rising global diplomatic uh, portfolios. Some member states established special units.
to deal with uh, international health issues at the global and in country. Next slide. Uh, I think I will skip to the conclusion. Uh, next slide. Next slide. Ah, okay. This is a conclusion. I would like to conclude that uh, we are living in a changing world. If we are well adjusted and if the global health diplomacy is well conducted, it will result in better health security and better people health outcomes for each country involved which should serve national and global interest. Click. We need to improve relations between states and strengthening the commitment of wide range of act actions to work together to improve health. And the ideal health outcome will aim at fair outcome and support goals of reducing poverty and increasing uh, equity. With that note, uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh